Hey everyone, today's Robert England's birthday, so I decided to do a top 5 of my favorite Robert England movies. Hey dude. Hey Stone, what you doing? Well, I was just telling people at home my top 5 uh, Robert England movies. Cool. Mind if I sit in? <sighs> sure. So, number 5 is Dead and Buried. I've done a full review of that movie, so if you want to know why it's on my top five, just go check it out. Man, that movie made me paranoid. Dude, I'm trying to make a video here. Sorry, dude. Thought it was all in my head. Okay, so where were we? Yeah, number four is Zombie Strippers. Yeah. Zombies and strippers. I mean... The title says it all. Just watch it. Number three is Wishmaster. Freaking scary, man. Dude. What? Sorry. So, there's an evil genie that needs to grant three wishes in order to be free so he can conquer the world. Can you stop that? Sorry, couldn't help it, man. You know, they say, be careful what you wish for. Because, you know, wish tend to turn bad. Well, there, it's like Murphy's Law on steroids. And on PCP. So I won't tell you much more about that. Because I want to do a full review later. I haven't mentioned any of the Freddy movies, man. I'm getting to that. Do you have New Nightmare on your list? It's number two. Dude, don't say this movie is crap. I mean, it's number two on my list, not number two in the toilet. Oh, can I continue? Yeah, sorry. So, it was a tough choice. Great franchise, lots of great movies. It's really hard not to include all of them in there. But I really like this one because it's so meta. It's a movie referencing itself, and there's Robert England playing as himself, and that's Freddy in there. Yeah, Freddy attacks the actor playing the movie Nightmare on Elm Street. Makes you think, man. What if we're actors in a movie? Okay, so anyway, number one is Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors. Number three? Why not the first one? I, I I love the first one, but I find that there's so much more cool stuff happening in this one. Like, it's the first one to actually bring humor into the franchise. It's a direct sequel to the first movie. And the main character from the first movie is in, in there. So you get a bunch of cool, relatable characters in there. Yeah, there's this kid that can cast magic spells, dude. So cool. Yeah, I like that scene too. And then, you know, you get uh, Patricia Arquette, uh, John Saxon, and Lawrence Fishburne in there. Or Larry Fishburne, as it says there. It's also a movie that establishes a lot of the lore about Freddy. Like, how the souls of the children he kills go into his stomach. Man, that's a scary scene. <laughs> yeah, the makeup is awesome. Wait, weren't you on vacation this week? Oh shit, I must be dreaming. Better get up before Freddy gets me. Shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, what a nightmare. Good thing I'm not on Elm Street.